At the turn of the millennium, the world was a much happier place. The alternative music scene was everywhere, with bands like Limp Bizkit and Linkin Park topping the charts with the sublime Tony Hawk series, selling like hotcakes, almost every other extreme sport was ported into a video game. Some of these genres, such as snowboarding and BMX games, found some success. However, Vatical developed Polaris Snowcross, which was their take on extreme snowmobiling. With a strong license behind it, it was a surefire hit. The problem was that when this game was eventually released, it was universally panned. Back then, most reviewers found little to like in the game. They slated its graphics, sound and gameplay and classed it as nothing more than a cash-in on a strong license. This game was never released here in the UK, so when I played this for the first time for the purpose of this review, I wasn't expecting much at all. I'd play a few hours to get some footage, and then form a good opinion together and write a quick review. That was three weeks ago, and what was originally going to be a quick and easy review actually led into one of the most addictive racing games I've played in a while, and I must say, I actually really like this game. The first point I'll start with is the gameplay, because let's face it, that's what it's all about. Racing games, as you know, are one of my favourite genres, and Polaris Snowcross doesn't disappoint. To start with, there are three main game modes, however like most racing games, the championship mode is where you'll spend most of your time. You have a choice of vehicles to start with, and as you win each race you unlock points which you can use to upgrade certain aspects of your vehicle. This isn't Gran Turismo levels of depth, However, once you've figured out your style, you can enhance the areas of your snowmobile ready for the next race, which can help to give you a tactical advantage. If you know that the next course has lots of twists and turns, you'll want to enhance your acceleration and handling. But if there are lots of straights and little manoeuvring, then you want to bump up your top speed and the stability. By completing championships, you'll unlock the next set of tracks like in most racing games, but you'll also unlock more powerful snowmobiles. What makes this interesting is that sometimes it makes more sense to choose your lower powered snowmobile which you've spent your points enhancing rather than choosing a more powerful machine which you've yet to enhance. What also makes the game very unique to play are the weather conditions. They genuinely make the game feel and play differently and learning how best to handle your vehicle in certain conditions is vital to winning the championship. Also very important here is a sense of exploration. If you've watched my review of Beetle Adventure Racing then you'll no doubt know how much I love the fact it had multiple secret routes and it's the same true here with Polaris Snowcross. There's a great satisfaction when you go off piece and smash through a gate only to find a hidden secret path which allows you to slash seconds off your lap times. Most interestingly is the fact that some of the courses take place at night. Most racing games with a night mode simply darken the screen but in Polaris Snowcross it literally is night time and you need to rely on track memorization and the small amount of light your headlamps give off to show along the way. The first time you play at night, it is bloody difficult. However, soon you'll be enjoying racing at night time as you memorize a track and you notice that the lighting from your vehicle is cast in real time, which really makes it look great. Moving on to the graphics in the game is one of the game's weaker points. The graphics are not the best and to be honest, some of the textures are grainy and not pretty at all. Saying that though, the courses are more varied than in a lot of other racing titles. You'll race from small towns and villages to wide open custom built race parks. There are also some nice touches you'll notice, like when you get knocked off your snowmobile, the rider will pull the chain before the engine starts again. I also like the light which is cast from the snowmobile on the night tracks, and the different weather conditions make the tracks look totally different. There are some clipping issues in the game and hit detection problems, but it's nothing too serious. Neither is the frame rate, which whilst it's not too fast and high, it is consistent and rarely seems to drop all that much. The developers used Factor 5's Musiac sound tools when the game was being made, which was renowned for having great quality for the N64. The quality of the audio is fantastic, however the problem is that the music is looped and it is quite generic. There are occasional hoots of owls and other environmental effects, but when the engines of the snowmobiles all sound the same and they don't sound all that powerful. When you have a huge engine in a snowmobile in a game, you really want to hear something beefier, and sadly that's not the case. Reviews back in the day commented on the game's poor controls, and to be honest I totally disagree on this point. 
Like many games when you can upgrade your vehicles, the controls is largely down to how many points you spend on handling. On the basic vehicles, the turning is slower, but when you have unlocked the more powerful snowmobiles, then turning is a breeze, and as you memorise the tracks, you'll be making tight turns no problem at all. The analogue stick also feels responsive, and the rumble pack support helps immerse you into the game. Polaris Snowcross is an interesting game. Frankly, I can't see why it was panned when it was released. Perhaps coming towards the end of the N64's lifespan, the industry was already seeing what next-gen gaming would look like, and so in comparison, they didn't give this game much of a chance. In my opinion, it's a very fun game. I got addicted to it quite easily, and with 12 tracks and different weather conditions, there really is a lot to play in the game. So what do you make of Polaris Snowcross? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, thanks for watching.